What's poppin' YouTube family? It's your boy Dwight. Welcome back to the channel, Silverback Siage. First off, please do me a huge favor. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I post new content. Today, I actually made a um, cheapy fragrance run, and I stopped in Ross's Dress for Less. Picked up a couple fragrances, but I will have to say for, for some time now, the rack stores have been dry, empty. I don't know if they going to ramp it back up when it comes to the holiday gifts or whatever the case may be. But I haven't been able to find much of anything on the shelves. But I picked up two things, and I'm going to do an unboxing and see what I think of them. Give you my opinion. First impression. Keep it locked. Well, let's get right off into it. First, I'm actually here with Abercrombie & Fitch's First Instinct Blue. Let's pop it open and see what we got. Oh, by the way, both fragrances were $19.99. Thought I'd make that clear. Plastic off here. Get rid of that. Here's your box presentation for this one. On the side, it says Abercrombie & Fitch, First Instinct Blue. It is a 100 ml bottle, and on the bottom, your batch code. Sit down. Here's your bottle presentation. Nothing on the front, nothing on the top, but on the side you have a plate. It says Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce, First Instinct Blue. Once again, batch code on the bottom of this here bottle. Let's give her a spray. Average Atomizer. Okay, no breakdown for this one. It came out in 2018. Your top notes are apple, bergamot, and cardamom. Middle note, mid notes are lavender, rosemary, and pepper. Base notes, sandalwood, amber, tonka bean. It's definitely a blue fragrance. It's an aromatic fougere for men. Very sweet, though. I would have to say this one, particular one here, is very sweet. You get that apple in the beginning, mixing in with that bergamot. So that's kind of a fruity blast in the beginning. But that's all I really get, just early. Maybe hints of that lavender, but it's definitely sweet. So to me, it's not like it's reinventing the wheel here. It's a typical blue fragrance with a lot of fruitiness in it. I'll let it dry down a little bit and get back to it. This one here is True Religion Drifter. Let's crack it open and see what we got here. Plastic out of here. True Religion Drifter, 3.4 fluid ounces, 100 ml bottle. Here's your box presentation for that one. Drifter, the name on the top, True Religion. And just some basic product information on the back, no batch code. Here's your bottle presentation. Name of the house. Fragrance on the front. Real fancy smancy leather slash metal or whatever material that is. Bottle. Let's give her a spray, see what we got on this one. Strong itemizer on this one. Here. Hmm. Um this one came out in 2011. It's an aromatic fruity fragrance. Top notes are blackberry, ginger, pear, grapefruit, and cardamom. Mid notes are apricot, watery notes, juniper berries, 
and rosemary. Base notes, sandalwood, guyac wood, amber, and vetiver. To me, it's a real, real manly man type of scent. I will say that. But with all these fruits in the beginning, I haven't had a lot of experiments, uh, experience with blackberry. But that's what it seems like that I smell. Now, looking at the base notes on this one right here, there's a lot of woods. So I'm assuming that once it transitions from the opening and mid down to the dry down, you get down to those woody notes. And it's a very, very woody uh, dry down for this one here. But it's not it's not a really, really strong note that I'm picking up in none of it. I, I get the fruity ambiances. And uh, as things go on, like I said, there'll probably be a woody dry down. But nothing just sticks out to me. There's a lot of new notes in this particular one, too. So maybe just my palate hasn't been trained for those. Now, back to Abercrombie. To me, it's still very, very fruity, but you get that apple and that bergamot. Still very, very strong in this opening. I will say both fragrances seem to be pretty pleasant. If I just gave them just like an opening impression or a first impression rating for both of them, I would say Abercrombie is about a strong six and a half, maybe seven. The True Religion one I'm unsure about because there's nothing that's wowing me about it. So I probably would give it about a five just on my first impression. But as they dry down, I'll be able to give more of my opinion on it. I would like to know if you got either one of these in your collection, anything from Abercrombie & Fitch, anything from True Religion, but especially one of the two of these two fragrances. Leave a comment in the comments and let me know what you think about either one of them or both. And uh, after I spend a little bit more time with both of them, I'll be able to know exactly what notes go where and uh, do I like the dry down better than the openings. But I'll definitely give a full product review of either one of them if it's worth it. But other than that, that's my time. It's your boy. Peace.